Are you on the hunt for a standard zoom lens that combines compact design with lightweight convenience? The Sigma 28-70mm f 2.8 DGDN contemporary lens could be your ideal match. Let's delve into five compelling reasons why this lens might deserve a spot in your camera bag. Firstly, the Sigma 28-70mm lens is celebrated for its superior image quality, producing shots with negligible distortion and chromatic aberration. Its fast f2.8 aperture is a boon for those challenging low-light environments, also enabling photographers to achieve a gorgeous artistic bokeh in their compositions. In addition, if you're traveling or on the move, you'll appreciate the lens's lightweight build, easing the strain on your neck or shoulders during prolonged shoots. Versatility is another of its strong suits, adeptly handling various photography styles from sweeping landscapes and intimate portraits to the bustling energy of street scenes. Moreover, owners of Sony E-mount and L-mount cameras will find the lens's compatibility a perfect fit. However, it's not all sunshine and roses. There are a few limitations that might make potential buyers think twice. The Sigma 28 to 70 millimeter lens restricts its compatibility to just Sony E-mount and L-mount cameras, potentially alienating users of other systems. The absence of image stabilization could be a deal breaker for those who frequently shoot handheld in lower light. Its design also prevents the direct attachment of filters, which could limit some photographers in their creative explorations. Additionally, its zoom range is modest at times 2.5, possibly constraining those who need broader zooming capabilities. And lastly, adventurers and outdoor enthusiasts might be disheartened to learn that the lens lacks weather sealing, raising durability concerns in harsh environmental conditions. In summary, while the Sigma 28 to 70 mm f 2.8 DG DN contemporary lens offers numerous perks, it's not without its drawbacks. Your decision should balance these factors against your unique needs and shooting style. I hope this helps.